tacos were really not so good. <laughs> Bruh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mama Mayhem. And for today's food vlog, we are here in Playa del Carmen. Look how beautiful it is tonight, you guys. It is beautiful. So we're about to take a taxi and we're gonna go eat some real authentic Mexican food. We're going to La Veracura. We're going to La Forista. We're gonna go eat some good fish and shrimp tacos. And I'm excited, so let's go. But before we begin, as always, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and smash that notification button so you can be notified when my next food vlog comes out. Also, if you guys like this video, let me know. Comment below and like and share this video as well. All right, you guys, let's go on our food tour of Playa del Carmen. Are you ready for our food tour? Let's go. So we're in the tax right now. We're heading to La Baracuda and we are hitting some traffic, but that's okay. And yeah, I'm excited to try some of the fish and the shrimp tacos. Let's go. So we're at La Berecura. It's very packed. This is a very popular place. You can get cheap fish tacos, also shrimp tacos, everything that you can get. It's like really cool. They have like stuff up there that you can do. So yeah, we're excited. We're gonna try this place out. Oh right, guys, so this is the menu for La Berecura. It's all in Spanish. If you know Spanish, it's very easy, but you can kind of translate it too. And this is the prices, they're all in pesos. La Barracuda is one of the most popular sit-down restaurants in Playa del Carmen. As you can see, a lot of the locals come here to eat lunch. Also, I got the El Diablo and Maranquilla tacos. You guys have to try these. Alright guys, so I'm going to try the shrimp taco. Let's see. I got this one right here. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. That's the talk that's the tacos. That one thick. shrimp with butter. It's very buttery, it's very good, it's very nice. Thanks. So we'll try. That one is really good. I added a little bit of um picante, it comes with like a slice of avocado. It's really good. Let's take another bite. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's buttery. The tacos are very like soft. It's very good. I mixed it. It has a slice of avocados. I mixed it with like salsa. Salsa. Very spicy salsa. Yeah, it's really good. All right, guys, so we're going to try the Adablo taco next. That's what it looks like right here. The Adablo taco, let's try it. Oh, my God. It's so hot. Mm. Wow. This is the spiciest taco that they have, but it's really not that hot. Maybe because I'm Nigerian, I don't know. I'm used to spiciness, but it's not that spicy. But it's good. It's really good. Alright, so Mama Mayhem got the fish. Taco. Mama Mayhem got the fish. Tell me how it tastes. Tacos. You had the buttery one, you have the one that's a little bit spicy called the El Diablo, and then you had another. 
another one that was kind of, I think it was called like the Eye of the Sea. Yeah. El Ojo de Mar. So that was cool. It was, tasted really good. Um, Grandma Mayhem had her fish and the fish came with fries and spaghetti. Um, and then also she had an empanada. Floresta, La Floresta, La Floresta. Mm -mm -mm. This was one of my favorite places in Playa del Carmen, not only because of the cheap prices for the tacos, but also the amazing customer service. And as you can see how packed it is, people love going here. Okay guys, so let's try these fish tacos. I, I decked them a little bit with um, the tomato salsa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see how it tastes. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. It looks really good, so I don't know. Right, so we're gonna try the shrimp tacos at La Florista. It looks really good. I decked it with tomatoes, onions, and salsa. So, that's what it looks like. Let's take a bite. Mm. Wow. It tastes really good. It's fried. It tastes buttery. And it's only 30 pesos, which is roughly around like two bucks a taco. Yeah, this is really good. This is it right here. Try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really good. This is really good shrimp tacos, you guys. It's fried shrimp tacos. This is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> How does your fish tacos taste? Tastes good. This place is good. If you guys are in Playa del Carmen, try out this place. It's really good. Massive. You have a spoon of the salsa. Add it in. The salsa is tomatoes, cilantro, onions, easy. Mixed with a little bit of lime juice. Yeah. yeah, this place is very good. It was recommended to me by another YouTuber to try it out. Yeah, this place is worth it. Again, it's called La Florista, and it's really good. Alright, you guys, so we just finished eating at La Florista, and yeah, the food was really good. It was fried shrimp tacos, and they had a little bit of salsa with um, onions, tomatoes, all of that. So it was really good. So right now we're gonna get another taco at um, Taquerias de Fogón. So we just left La Florista. We're going right now to Taquerias de Fogón with Mama Grandma Meja. And the place that we went to, La Florista, they have really good shrimp tacos, very good fried shrimp tacos and um, fish tacos. It was really good. Uh, I, I would highly recommend you guys going there if you're in Playa del Carmen. It's really, really good. Um, right now, there's a lot of traffic a little bit, but we're heading over more closer to Fifth Avenue and see the park of fun, La Parque de Funadores, and yeah, let's go check it out. Taquerias de Fogón and I've been recommended to check out this place. It has some good shrimp tacos, some good tacos in general and so yeah let's go check it out. So this is what the the the, the chorizo looks like. It's super greasy. 
like super greasy. There's like, I don't know if that's butter or if that's just plain old oil, but it's super greasy. All right, so let's taste it. Mm. It's very cheesy. The grease is like dripping down, as you can see. But it looks really good. Oh, it tastes really good too. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. It's very greasy, as you can see on my fingers. It's super greasy. The chorizo is like small little pieces. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's very cheesy too. It's hot, it's not really seasoned well, but it's good. I like it, let's take another bite. Wow. He didn't really put a lot of meat in this one. It's not that much meat at all, but, and it's very oily. Some of it got on my shirt, but if they have a little bit less oil, a little bit more meat, I think it'll be really good. Yeah, that's for sure. I need to walk. Everything came up to be 141 pesos or seven dollars and 83 cents US dollars. Okay, guys, so we just finished eating at El Taquerias de Fogon, and I'm not really impressed with the place, honestly. The tacos were really not so good, <laughs> and but the uh, quesadillas they were really good. The quesadillas chorizo, I think, is the best one, so try that. They also have one that's um. I believe beef and then also pork and then chicken so the quesadillas at the fogon place is so much better than the tacos so if you're gonna go there in playa del carmen go and get the quesadillas not the tacos all right you guys so we're back on fifth street we did our food tour and now we're just gonna chill around Fifth Street, it is very busy right now, as you can see, so, and it's very hot, so let's go. So after our epic food tour, we walked around Fifth Avenue because we were bloated. We walked around, did a little shopping, saw some great souvenirs. We also saw some local cafes that I wish we would have tried. We went to the mall, walked around, saw some really cool street performers. They were very entertaining. There were also some restaurants that I wish I would have tried, but by the time we got there, it was so late and we were very full. We also saw some very entertaining and very funny street songs. And then we ended our night at this small little cafe area that was an outdoor party where, of course, I had to dance the night away. And then we returned to our resort where, by the time we got there, we were definitely in a food coma and went straight to bed. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out our next videos. Like and subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye.